Hey everyone, welcome back. And uh, today I picked up some Zoomed Reptile Electrolyte Soak. I was at the recent uh, Reptile Expo that I seen this there. Decided to pick it up because I did see this online and I was pondering whether or not I should try it for myself. So ended up uh, picking up. So I'm going to try it today with uh, my Bearded Dragon. Pretty simple to use. Uh, it comes with a little scoop that's inside the packaging here. So you open it up, you add one full uh, scoop to one gallon of warm bath water and uh, basically the warm bath water is good somewhere in that 90 degrees to 100 degrees maximum range for a bearded dragon so I try to put on the higher side uh, because as it sits for a little bit the water cools down obviously right so uh, simple enough just dissolve this it dissolves pretty quickly you don't have to do much uh, stirring around but I just added one scoop of this to the gallon of water and this here isn't uh, distilled water or that you see on the packaging I just uh, filled it up with regular uh, tap water uh, to that temperature poured the scoop in there put the cap on and give it a little bit of a shake up to uh, help dissolve all the crystals but like I say it dissolves pretty easily and uh, goes yeah doesn't really take much uh, effort to get to get it to dissolve and like I say I'm putting my bearded dragon in this today and he's uh, kind of been just kind of like lazing out a little bit I don't know coming close to brew mating maybe but um, just kind of more been in the cooler side of the hide for <laughs> as you can see he's kind of molded into that right now not too happy to come out but um, yeah just like to keep them hydrated give them some water uh, it is towards the end of the summer heading into you know fall here so every year this guy does brew mate so it is coming close to that so want to get him a little bit of bass and some soaks before that happens so yeah basically all you do like i say you put into some nice warm bath water 90 200 degrees uh Fahrenheit is uh, ideal. Uh, again, just giving it an extra shake, making sure all those crystals have dissolved. And yeah, fill it up. Uh, put it into like a smaller tub that way. Obviously, you don't have to use, if you put it into a larger container, you have to use like multiple scoops with, you know, maybe four gallons, five gallons of water. So this is perfect size for a bearded dragon. Just uh, fills up one gallon, fits this up nicely. So it's not too high of level for them. Yeah, this is my first time trying this product. Uh, I'll not saying anything good or bad about it right now, but I don't see any harm in it. It looks like it's all, you know, has some pretty good stuff in it. And uh, it kind of a nice benefit for this stuff is if you do have like an, a new reptile that uh, maybe rescue that you want to really kind of force hydration as quickly as possible into it. If it looks like dehydrated, this is a great way to get some, uh, you know, extra vitamins into them or if they kind of seem to be a little sluggish or whatnot just uh, helps boost them up a little bit and uh, from what it looks like to me anyway so again no no long-term experience using this stuff so I can't say you know how good it is or how bad it is I don't see like I say I don't see anything bad I wouldn't test something if I didn't feel it was good enough uh, to use for my own pets to, uh, and recommend to anybody else but Again, just uh, we'll see. I'll keep this up and maybe I can report down the road what I've found, any pros or cons. But um, as I give my beardy a bath, I like to drop some water up on his nose area there so it runs down. Sometimes he'll lick it up uh, and drink the water quite a bit. Sometimes he'll just kind of keep his mouth open a little bit. So I do know some gets into his mouth and uh, he'll see him kind of swallow once in a while. But uh if some dragons are they see the water you if they if it's not moving around or uh any ripples in the water they might not even know they're in water because they can't really see water too easily so i like to kind of keep moving around keeping the ripples there so he can see it moving around himself but uh i've seen dragons stick their mouth in to the bath water start drinking it really really easily mine's never done that so i've always had to kind of drip it on there uh, mouth uh, sometimes use a syringe just to kind of fill up and just do 
drop, drop, drop after drop just on their nose so that it kind of mimics rainwater dropping on them and that'll usually get them to drink well. But uh, usually with enough, enough uh, vegetables, uh, it hydrates them well uh, enough without uh, having to give them water to drink. But again, every dragon's different. Uh, do what you find is best for yours. But this is a great way anyways to kind of get them to drink water if uh, they don't drink it very often. But yeah, so I'll just kind of fill up. Here is a great perfect time because there's electrolytes right in with the bath water. Uh, fill it up and just kind of drop it on their nose for a bit. So this will be a little bit repetitive. So I'll end up fast forwarding the video just because you'll see. I'm trying to keep them in there for 10 minutes uh, straight here. So it'll be a pretty boring video dragged on just watching uh, water drops on his face. So I'll speed it up here and uh, let you see how it goes over the course of 10 minutes roughly here. And even though he's not sticking his tongue out, you might be able to see him doing a little bit of a swallow from uh, here and there, just taking out a little bit of water there. So I kind of, I usually give him a bath a couple times a week, just let him soak for a little while. Um, as the water soaks for some time, it'll start to cool off. So the longer you keep them in, the cooler the water will get. Um, 10 minutes usually is good enough. And that's what uh, this kind of recommends is to soak them for at least 10 minutes. Um, definitely you can do longer, but if you are doing a longer time than that, just check the bath water temperature. You might have to take them out, add a little bit of warm water to kind of top it up and get to a nice temperature again and let them go in for a little bit longer. I'm, I'm curious anyways if anybody else uses this product if they've had any uh, anything good to say about it and uh, you can leave comments uh, in the comment area there just I'd definitely like to know how anybody else uh, experiences have ha come about with using this product but anyways I'm just gonna take them out here now dry them off and get them ready for going back in the enclosure but yeah when I take them out give them a little bit of dry off there have them dry this guy's pretty chilled out he doesn't mind uh being wrapped up or seeing the bath water when i first got him trying to give him baths were quite a job there he, every time i put him in he would jump out but now he's he knows what's happening i think and completely fine with uh soaking for a little while so yeah we'll kind of get him back over here and dry him off a bit but yeah, just uh, again, a really quick video. It's been a little while since I put one on. Uh, uh, since when I last video that I did, uh, other than shorts, I was uh, not working, just laid off due to COVID, but now back to work again. It's been pretty hectic and pretty busy, so I haven't really had much time to put anything out. So just other than a little bit of shorts here and there, this is my first uh, non-short video in a little bit of time. So hope this uh, helps anybody that is questioning whether or not uh, they should pick one up this product if you want to just keep watch i'll definitely do some updates later on to let you know how i feel anyways that if is there any benefit from it do i see anything uh, or not but i do appreciate checking out and watching how this is done any questions leave them down below as always and appreciate your time watching catch you next time